shortly after sunrise and then again in that hour before it gets dark, Gary Lisbon is out on the course, perfecting the art of putting the essence of the golf landscape into a single frame. I've been doing it for about 10 years now and uh, absolutely love it. The cool thing about it is that every day is different, whether it's cloud formation, whether it's sun position, whether it's rainbows, whatever it might be, it's just different from one day to the next. A passionate golfer with a single-figure handicap, Gary turned a love of golf, photography and computers into a career. Logical thing, I was a chartered accountant before uh, getting into golf and always had a love of golf and then thought I'd start taking photos and having a wonderful landscape that is the Melbourne Sandbelt, which is where I'm based. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to get out and to be able to take the shots wherever they, wherever they are. In this age of digital photography, it's easier than ever for anyone to reel off some snapshots. For many of us, it's become as simple as reaching for a mobile phone. But getting a great photo takes a lot more than that. I think in, in a shot, you just look for what's natural rather than manufactured. You look for uh, what the golfer generally sees when they, when they play the hole. It gives them a sense of excitement. It, it invokes an anticipation of the shot that is, that is about to come. The sun position needs to be right, so first thing in the morning, last thing at night tend to be the typical times of the day. Where the sun's got a, a richness in colour as opposed to the midday sun where it's just too high in the sky, no shadows. Since each hole is different, it's the unique features of every scene that guides the photographer. We're on 16 East at Royal Melbourne Golf Club. Best golf course indisputably in the Southern Hemisphere. Fantastic little par three that tests you and tempts you depending on where the pin is. Surrounded by bunkers, as you can see, and it just, uh, just frames so perfectly. Getting the right position for the shot can make all the difference. We're on the fifth uh, west at Royal Melbourne, our wonderful par three. Again, framed perfectly by the bunkers left and right. and just feels like it's been there for hundreds of years. I have a Canon 5D Mark II and then I use a number of lenses, a 17 to 40 mil, 24 to 105 and a 70 to 200. So it covers a wide, wide range of focal lengths. This little thing on top uh, might be of interest to some, some viewers. It's actually a level. And you think that you can line up a, a shot level, but when you're up on a ladder or you're on the top of a golf cart, you, you don't always know what level is. So this tends to keep you in, in line. Once Gary is satisfied with the photos he's taken, it's into his office to finalise the picture. So this is Cypress Point, image of the 15th hole. What I try and do with all the shots is still retain the same look that I had when I took the shot, but just get rid of extraneous things like uh, bunker rakes and maybe tyre tracks and, and so on, but not, not creating anything that's artificial. One of his challenges is choosing one shot over another. But don't ask Gary to nominate his favourite print in his portfolio. There's too many to choose from. I've been blessed to have taken photos at 250 courses around the world, so I've got favourite photos in, in the context of when, when I took them. The moods, the time of the year, the challenges in getting the shot. This is a pretty nice shot I like of the 18th hole at the old course at St Andrews. Again. Trying to get this shot without people is quite challenging. Getting it at the, the right time of the day, getting it with sunshine. Scotland being Scotland, it can, can rain or have heavy cloud cover. So this is a particular favourite. Uh, shots out of New Zealand, Cowrie Cliffs, Cape Kidnappers, down at Jack's Point in Queenstown. Those courses are pretty cool as well. And even in Ireland, places like Royal County Down, down south, places like Waterville, even the Heathland courses of England, uh, Sunningdale and so on, they're just really, really cool courses. As anyone that plays golf knows, we just get excited by this stuff. We get excited by being presented with different courses, different times, and I think that's probably part of my, um, my brief generally is to try and invoke excitement in the shots that I capture. It's not just avoiding people or getting lucky with the sunlight. The challenges in getting the perfect picture are many and varied, from overcoming freezing fingers in the middle of winter to taking aerial photos. This shot of Cowrie Cliffs and the North Island of New Zealand. This was the first time I was actually up in a chopper, so it was pretty exciting. And it was um, the owner's helicopter, and we went up there without the, the door on the chopper, as you do, and we just got the most amazing shots. And you can really see, for me, it's, it's about the backdrop, it's the islands here, it's the ripples in the waves, it's the various T positions, so you see the shot that's before you, 
contrast between fairway and rough, the beaches down below. So it's just a really, one of those ex exciting shots. The search for that ideal image drives him on. That is, when the everyday frustrations that face every photographer allow it. Challenges are, are certainly varied from the one that kills me is, is heavy cloud cover. We like a little bit of white fluffy cloud, but heavy cloud cover just kills you. The other thing that kills me, which is an unusual one, is first thing in the morning is ground staff driving up and down the golf course, and they've got these pristine fairways that are punctuated by these terrible tyre marks. So they're, they're the typical things. Go down to a place like, like Barn Boogal, and there are other challenges. There's, uh, there's some natives native snakes that might exist in the rough and they challenge you a little bit as well. Through the lens, Gary's seen many courses from many angles. So which Australian course is this professional photographer's favourite? I love here, Royal Melbourne. I love it because it's got so many different types of shots. The course is, feels like it's been here for thousands of years, just laid out. Barnboogle Dunes down in Tasmania is another great course, beautiful ocean backdrops. New South Wales Golf Club up in Sydney is a fantastic shot. That shot on the top of the fifth fairway looking down to the green and the sixth par three over the water. There's just so many good courses here in, in this part of the world. But the sand belt, Melbourne sand belt, is probably my favourite area.